And I want to do a little highlighting, and I'll do this quickly because I don't I don't want to go through every uh, every book on the list. But there are some very significant uh, works that I want to call your attention to. And when I do that, that doesn't mean that I've read every single book on this list. But the second one down, uh, Gabor Borat. Uh, if you don't know him, he's the director of the Civil War. Uh, and Lincoln Institute at Gettysburg College, and he's he's written this new book on the Gettysburg Address. Uh, down to the fourth one, Berkheimer, Michael Berkheimer. There's been a lot of study and question about, you know, was Lincoln a person of faith? And 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 obviously Lincoln grew in his faith. Early on, we would call him a deist, uh, and uh, he certainly wasn't a Christian. Uh, but this book is one of the best that I've ever read called Lincoln's Christianity and clearly as the war goes on Lincoln becomes more and more faith filled and that's a subject for other discussion. Well, the next one is really important Michael Burlingame and I'm going to mention him a, a lot. Uh, he has just produced a two volume a biography of Lincoln. Uh, I think the publisher made a mistake because they're great big thick tomes and, and for me, as much as I love Lincoln, I hesitate tackling a book that I'm going to just read and read and read. Uh, I love to read, but I like to finish it and go on to something else. And it's just like I mentioned Robertson's uh, Stonewall Jackson. That's about 890 pages, and then, you know, when you quote more than eight lines, you have to indent it and make the print smaller. And he quoted a lot, so it seemed like I read for 10 minutes to get through one page and it took me a long time even though it was a great book so I don't know when I'm going to tackle Burlingame's book but it's, it, but it's, it's going to be a great book because we'll talk about the new research. Um, Burton Vernon, The Age of Lincoln is getting a, a lot of play. Um, so is the next one and then drop down to Richard Carwindine. He is a professor at Oxford so he's an Englishman, Englishman and his book uh, is going to rank as one of the best biographies of Lincoln. Catherine Clinton, brand new book on on, on uh, Mary Todd, which is also getting a lot of attention. I'm going to talk about Thomas DiLorenzo. Um, look at that title, Lincoln on Mast: What You're Not Supposed to Know About Dishonest Abe. Um, if you'll turn the page, um, Epstein's book, The Lincolns, A Portrait of Marriage, uh, is, I'm going to be reading that when I go to Springfield tomorrow. Um, Doris Kearns Goodwin, at kind of in the middle of the page, Team of Rivals, I think it's going to probably be a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. Uh, I, I, I consider it one of the really, really great books. Uh, Alan Gelzo, Lincoln and Douglas, in my opinion that's the best book on the Lincoln-Douglas debates. If you ever, ever get a chance to hear Gelzo speak, jump in your car. He's a fantastic speaker and a great writer. Harold Holzer, um, Lincoln President-Elect, I've finished reading that. That's a very fine book. He's the co-chair of the National Abraham Lincoln Bicentennial. You see him also in the next book. Um, Fred Kaplan, I haven't read it yet, Lincoln, the biography of a writer. He's the, he's the well-known uh, uh, Samuel Clemens uh, author probably has done the best down to the bottom Cranowitter Tom uh, one of you said that you recently took some instruction with him and heard him and gave him high marks just know that on February 18th he's going to be here in Grand Rapids at 7 p.m. in the evening he's going to be doing a, a debate with another person Here's his book, Vindicating Lincoln. Obviously, it's a response to the revisionist interpretation of Lincoln. And, uh, it, it's going to be, I think, at Grand Valley. If it's not at Grand Valley, it will be at the Gerald Ford uh, Presidential Museum. They partner so much that I'm not sure. Heather, do you know where it is? OK, literature's out there on the table. But uh, then the bottom one, is a brand new book that pay attention to uh, looking for Lincoln. Uh, the Cunarts own, they've inherited one of the greatest Lincoln collections if not the greatest Lincoln collection <coughs> that any individual put together. Frederick Hill Meserve 
put together a huge, huge collection, and they are descendants. And this new book is, is going to kind of share many of the wonderful things in this great collection. Um, I've got a copy of that ordered, and I'm anxious to see it. Uh, second one down on the third page, Brian Lamb, you know that name. Uh, but Abraham Lincoln, great American historians, and our 16th president. What they've done is they've taken 56 tapes of various historians that have been on C-SPAN, and uh, that's what this book is about, and I bought it, anxious to read it. Uh, Lehrman, Lincoln at Peoria, a wonderful book. I've had a chance to read that. I'll talk more about Michael Lind, what Lincoln believed. Uh, Former presidential candidate George McGovern has written uh, a short history of Abraham Lincoln. I don't know if you're all familiar with Time Life series on presidents. They run about 150 pages, and I think they're really well done. I'm back to trying to read as much as you can about as many people and not read a book that's a thousand pages long. Uh, I'm buying every one, and it's my goal to read every one, and I think I've read about 90% of them. I think they're really good, and I think McGovern did a pretty good job. And uh, it might surprise you that he's got a Ph.D. in history. Um, William Lee Miller, uh, down the President Lincoln, the duty of a statesman. Uh, he's a professor at the University of Virginia. I highly recommend that book. Uh, he also read, wrote a book on uh, Lincoln, an ethical biography. Uh, I've got one out of order where it, there's a line underneath William Lee Miller's name, tried by war. That's James McPherson. Uh, I hope you know James McPherson. He's written the best single volume on the Civil War, The Battle Cry of Freedom. This is his brand new book, Tried by War, Abraham Lincoln as a Commander in Chief. I read that. That's really a great book. Um, Turning the page, partway down, Richard Striner, Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln's Relentless Struggle to End Slavery. I've had a chance to read that. That's a fine book. Couple down, Craig Simmons, Lincoln and His Admirals. If you don't know Simmons' name, he's Professor Emeritus at the U.S. Naval Academy. Uh, when it comes to the Civil War, he's the best uh, historian on the naval history. I haven't read it, but I have it, and I'm anxious uh, to read that. Uh, a little farther down, uh, Willenitz, Sean Willenitz, the best American history essays on Lincoln. This is produced by the Organization of American Historians, and I brought it along, and this is something that you ought to get in your library because what they've done is pulled together what's considered some of the best writing on Lincoln in article form, and uh, many of the people on the list are kind of a Hall of Fame writers. It's a paper bound, doesn't cost much. Uh, I haven't read it, but it, it's on my uh, reading list. Near the bottom, Ron, Ronald C. White, A. Lincoln. Um, James McPherson, who had Ronald White as a graduate student, thinks this is going to be the best one volume on Lincoln. Uh, I don't know if any of you have heard or read Ron, Ron White's book on the second inaugural. It's just a classic book. Uh, he's a, a professor uh, in, in California, uh, and uh, we had him in to uh, speak in Lansing a while ago. He's just terrific. Uh, then down at the bottom, the work of Doug Wilson and, and Rod Davis ought to deserve your attention. So that's a quick look at many of the new books that are out. Now, let's talk about how do you and I decide how, how, can, how can I stand up here and proclaim to know that much about Lincoln and that much about the literature that I can say <clears throat> this, I think, is one of the great books to read? Well, there are a lot of ways that you and I gain that knowledge. I mentioned Jay Monahan's bibliography. Here's another one written by Paul Engel, who was a, a well-respected Lincoln scholar. And this was done in 1946, and it says, A Shelf of Lincoln Books. So when we know who the author is and what their credentials is and what their reputation is, that probably influences most of us. Uh, or it, does, it certainly does me, and I guess I would encourage that that might be the case for you also. 